All right, so what are we doing? Changing the um, the breaker switch. So what do we have to do first? Uh, set up my spaceships for my game. So mature of you. Well, that way for the next two hours they're doing something that I don't need them to do. Right, so screwdrivers and things like that. In order to put in the manual build pump and change the um, breaker, the new breaker, put the new breaker in, um, all this crap has to come out of the storage locker. Kind of a pain. But I guess it's built off. Question. I just heard something pop down there. How do you make sure that because you've got those batteries that also run all this stuff, that that's not going to electrocute you back here? Because it can't backflow. You're a thousand percent sure about yes. that. Uh, you don't need to turn stuff That and the fuse, oh, it's, it's turned off. Okay. Turn it off. Okay. I promise you, when it comes to AC, I don't mess around. Alright? But you also are not always safe with, with the electric, and it, so I'm going to ask questions. And I don't want to hear that 9 volts is not dangerous. But, 12 volts is not Or 12 volts, whatever it is. I, I don't care. I'm always going to ask because I'm, you're not well, always... This isn't 12 volts. This is 125 amps, and it's AC. And AC will grab hold of you and won't let you go. I understand that, but because you're not safe with the other stuff, I'm going to ask every single time. What was it that our instructor said? I have impe impeccable safety skills? Well, you got to suffer with that now. Basically, we're putting this breaker in. It's yep. a 30 amp one, and replacing the one that's already there. Can't get the exact same one for some reason. So I'm having to, ouch, close my knees, to make do. So how much did this little box cost you? 75 bucks, which is ridiculous for a used breaker. Was it used? Yeah. Wow. Kind of annoying, to be honest. So, did it come with any kind of warranty? Like, if it doesn't work, can we bring it back? Uh, well, I plan to.
how do you know which side to put which color in? Put them both on the same side. Uh, okay. Because they're independent. Right, okay. Any chance that will that set up in that box that we have? Yeah. It fits in there? Uh, yeah. Well, it fits the backing plate, no, not at the front. Normally it takes like a long time for it to switch over. The fuse is blown down here. Okay. Did you find the fuse to replace it? Oh yeah. Alright, so again, tell me what you're doing. Turn on the AC so that we can see if it actually works. Okay, just because Steven doesn't give direction, let me tell y'all what's going on. He, when he installed the solar panels, um, well, not the solar panels, but when he hooked up the solar panels to the batteries, we realized that coming off the shore power, there were two different electrical cables. One went to an inverter, or I mean, one went to a breaker. The other one went directly to the electric panel inside the boat there was no breaker on it so which is not correct it shouldn't be wired up that way so we put everything through the breaker but then once we got here and got in the water one of the first things that we wanted to do was turn on the air conditioner because it's stinking hot with no air conditioning and this little unit does nothing but every time we turn on the air conditioner, with the, the minute the pump started going, it would flip the main breaker. I'm going to find out the main breaker was not... How many volts was the, the main breaker? 
12 amps. It was 12 amps, and we were supposed to have a 30 amp breaker. So after going to three or four different... water coming out the side? Uh, hang on, let me see. The water is not coming out the side. It's not coming out the side? No. Yes, there's a little bit of water coming out. It's not like where it was, where it used to be. But it, there is water coming out, it's just slow. Yeah, it's just... Which is where we need to put the barnacle buster in. Do we have any left? Huh? All right, just check it again. It's just barely coming out, Steven. It's very cool, is it actually coming out? It's, okay, before it used to shoot out with, like, and it would come out with enough power that the water would turn white. It is just like, it's not coming out like it did before. Oh, now it is. It's coming out like it used to now. Yeah, that's like it used to come. So the water's coming out, so now what? And Eric, the breaker's staying on. Um, putting this back, and then, Clean up. Turn everything off and put the screw the. So wait, wait, wait. Did you turn the shore power back on? So we're not on the. Oh yeah, because the breaker crew. Never mind. I thought maybe we actually had this, the air conditioner going on the solar panel. I was getting excited. Well, that's the next thing to try once we change the fuse. Okay. Okay. You ever notice Steven works for he videos? He doesn't do the both at the same time because he has to focus on what he's doing so just to explain what just happened when Steven went to wire up the solar panels to the batteries we realized well we realized when we changed the shore power plug actually that some of the electric was going through a fuse box and some of it was going directly to the electric panel which there should be a fuse so Without realizing why that had been done, when he wired, rewired everything, he went through the fuse box. Turns out the fuse box was, how many amps was it, Stephen? 20? 12. 12. It was 12 amps, and it was supposed to be 30, correct? So, when we got back in the water, our first agenda was to get the air conditioning going, because we couldn't run the air conditioning on the hard without water. As soon as we turn the air conditioner on, what would happen is, um, is the minute the pump started going, it would blow the breaker. So Stephen was checking into that and realized that they had used this 12 amp breaker instead of a 30 amp breaker. We went to three different places and ended up going back to one of them a second time. We couldn't find a breaker exactly like what we had, even at 12 amps, we couldn't find one at all. So he, he did find one that would work. He's just installed that and tested it and had the air conditioning running without throwing a breaker. So now he's just putting the breaker cover back on and make, you know, screwing it all to the wall and stuff so it's not just flopping around in there. But in the process of all that, we threw a, a fuse, blue fuse on the inverter which means we're not using solar at all right now. But the next thing for us to do is get the, because he knew the fuse in there wasn't the right size, is to get the right size fuse to put in there and test it and see if we can run air conditioning at least for a little bit off of solar when we need to. So we've been here 20, in, in Oriental, like 24, 25 days. And during all of that time, all we've had is this little bitty air conditioning that it's like a in-home portable air conditioner unit that cools like the size of the head. It doesn't cool the whole boat. Um, so we might have air conditioning today. And tonight might be like the best night's sleep we've had in a long time.
Yeah, it's a paddleboard, you're supposed to be able to stand up, aren't you? So. Dual engine one. Yeah. Which way are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Well, for, how about you go across to the the breakwater there? Over there. Yeah. So one of the things that we've wanted to do is uh, try and break the kids away from technology and today that was definitely a win because Katie gets to use her paddleboard for the first time and Talon gets to use his canoe. I'm the one that's been left on the dock. we have in our family is Katie. She absolutely refuses to do anything that's physical. Put her on a computer, do the animation, she's great. But when it comes to anything that involves a bit of effort, then uh, she runs a while. So some big changes for her. So they decided to uh, paddle over to the nearest beach, which is probably about half a mile away. And um, well, a quarter of a mile, half a mile. So anyway, I just got the phone call, come and get us. So I guess they wore their little arms out. What, what is it? So, so how's it going? My arms hurt. I'm tired. Yeah. It wasn't that far. No, it was far. Hey, pick it up and carry it, Katie. It's, heavy, my it's not that heavy. Don't be rude! Oh, yeah. 
have to lift it up. I can't pull it out, it will rip. How about you just open the door? I'd put all those life jackets back in too because we'll have to have them to use them. What do you think about paddleboarding? It's hard. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, we didn't even stick around long enough to put my Pokemon in the gym. I know. We were all too tired. I could have stayed there for like 13 more minutes. It's like the, the rain was going to end in 13 minutes. Yeah, we were tired. But I thought it was fun getting over there. Didn't even get to put Pokemon in the gym. Well, next time maybe you'll pedal more. You really gotta watch what you're doing, Katie. You're all over No, I'm the place. no I'm checking. I'm I am. Here, Steven. You wanna go and get in the pool? No. Yeah, I would good just to pull off. I just wanna see the boat. Yeah, I don't want y'all on the boat. I want y'all out doing things. We did something today. Yeah, I've been out for that long. If you think about it, we really didn't go. We only went over there. It wasn't very far. That was a lot. That was a very long something. Yeah, I know. Nah. Yeah, we were out for a long time. Yeah, we were.